Hello my friends, today it's a big day. Skylum sent me a beta version of Focus Stacking extension for Luminar Neo. And they claim that with this extension, you can focus stack up to 100 photos. So that's what we will do today. We will stack 100 photos. I have 100 photos here of these mushrooms and um, we will focus stack them, see if it works and if it's any good. Now, before we get into stacking these images, I just want to remind you that I do have a playlist with over a hundred, I think there are like 110 video tutorials for Luminar Neo for you to binge watch and, you know, get up to speed with your editing into Luminar Neo. Now, just a little bit behind the scene, this is my setup. I brought these mushrooms from my backyard. I put them on a table into the studio. I put them on a little piece of moss on top of some bark. And I had a light here to the right and a bounce card to the left. This little light, I had it um, to begin with, but then I didn't like the look was giving. So I removed this light and did not use it for the stack. Now, in order to take 100 images of those mushrooms, I did use my stack shot um, automatic rail and this is how I was able to move half millimeter at a time in order to get my 100 images. Now when I took these images just for your reference I shot it with my Sony 7R4 and 100 millimeter 2.8 macro lens from Sigma and I shot this at 5.6 aperture and some of you guys might say wait well, Skylar you didn't need 100 photos you could have shot at f11 f16 and only done ter a third of those photos. The reason why I shot this at f5.6 is because I did want that really shallow depth of field. I wanted the background to be blurry. If I would have had an f16, then you would see a lot more texture in the background. And I really wanted to keep that, you know, smooth background. So that's why I decided to go with f5.6. So anyway, you can see every image has very, very little in focus. And as you move through the images, more and more gets in focus. Now, how do we focus stack these images? First of all, focus stacking, you'll find it right with your HDR merge if you purchase the extension. And it's under the puzzle uh, symbol that is on the top left. Now, if you do decide to purchase this focus stacking extension, please do use my link below. It's an affiliate link to no cost to you. I do get a small commission for it. Now, in order to focus stack all these images, what you need to do is just grab them and drop them onto your focus stacking extension. And then once they all loaded in there, all you need to do is press the stack. And 12 minutes and four seconds later, we got a focus stacked image. That is right. You heard that correct. 12 minutes and four seconds. So this is not a fast process. We did stack 100 images, which is a lot. And you, I don't know if you can hear this over the microphone, but my computer sounds like it's about to take off in space. So it is very computer you know, intensive. And if you have an older computer, my computer, it's you know, pretty fast and not too old. But if you have an older, slower computer, this might take you a really long time to stack 100 images. But did it do a good job? And at the first glance, I think it did a great job. Let's see, can we focus in? I'm kind of losing my, uh, I can't zoom in in here. There you go. Oop. Let's try this again. See if we can focus in. There we go. And I mean, everything is super sharp. This was the, you know, images were not edited. You don't want to either edit your images before your focus stacking. You want to focus stack and then edit. If you do your editing first and then your focus stacking, your edits are not gonna go into focus stacking, it's just stacking the original images. So you wanna focus stack first and then you want to edit your image. So this is unedited stacked 100 uh, images. I think it did a fantastic job. Everything is nice and sharp. I don't see artifacts. It's looking fantastic. And just remember this is unedited photos this is, you know, just stacked. Now you would go on and do your edit after you stacked it. So all in all, I think it did really, really fantastic job. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.